So Chisa section one, you know, is not just for doing against someone else who does Wing Chun. It's actually for used in real estate applications. So you can see, you know, I can use Chisa section one to actually pull him off balance here and then use my my arms to shift my body. Look, like this. And, and sometimes, although the hand movements aren't exactly the same, you know, that doesn't necessarily matter in Wing Chun. It's more the conceptual way we move and the energy we give someone. It could be any hand technique, but the specific way you move in Chiso Section 1 you know, is very important and it develops that, spe that, that very specific feeling of movement. If I can't attack inside or outside his guard, I can definitely remove it to then attack him. So do it a few times. And sit, say here. And even if his arms, and they're not that tense anyway, but even if his arms aren't tense and he lets go when I attack him, I still do the same thing. I don't suddenly, if I put his arm in there relaxed, go, oh, I haven't got anything to pull. Our whole idea in doing these sections and the chisa training is we, we're pressurizing our, our opponent. You know, we're not trying to do anything but attack them. But if you can't attack them, you have to go around whatever's in the way. You know, example, now his arms are tense. Look, I go around that pressure as so I can hit him. That's it. So you see, I'm not having to pull his arms. If he lets go, I'm not going to lose my balance. If he lets go, I'm still progressing forward rather than doing, oh no, I've lost them and he can attack me.